How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Lead Therapy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. I also appreciate everybody that watches the videos and also like, share and subscribe and hit those post notifications. You doing all those things helps the channel out and helps it grow. Whoever thought that this would happen, but bump stocks are back on store shelves in three states. Though for how long, it's anyone's guess. After the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals struck down the ATF's administrative ban on bump stocks, the Department of Justice had until last Monday to appeal the decision to the Supreme Court. But after the DOJ failed to do so, the Fifth Circuit's order took effect. That means that in Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, bump stocks are once again now available for purchase. The DOJ can still appeal to the trial court to reinstate the ban since the Fifth Circuit Court remanded the case back to the U.S. District Court in Texas. But it's still worth noting that Merrick Garland and company chose not to ask the Supreme Court to consider the issue, which would have been the next logical step in the appeals process. Garland may have made the calculation that it's better to keep the decision confined to the Fifth Circuit's court's jurisdiction for the time being rather than risk the Supreme Court agreeing with it and overturning the ban on a nationwide basis. We've seen gun control activists use this strategy before. When it comes to concealed carry, the Democrats in Illinois and Washington, D.C., choosing to accept appellate court defeats and placing the cases out of reach of the nine justices. That strategy was only successful as a delaying tactic with the Supreme Court invalidating may issue laws last summer. But playing keep away from SCOTUS is probably the most viable option for anti-gunners at the moment. Austin, Texas gun store owner Michael Cargill, who filed the lawsuit heard by the Fifth Circuit, says he plans carrying bump stocks at his store soon. But as the Dallas Morning News notes in their coverage of the DOJ's decision not to appeal the Fifth Court's decision, this case is about far more than bump stocks themselves. So now we have to think about the ATF overstepping its authority when it comes to ghost guns and stabilizing braces based on the DOJ's inaction. In the wake of the Fifth Circuit's bump stock decision, it looks like they've decided the best option is to take the loss and keep as many gun control cases away from the Supreme Court for as long as possible. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comments section down below. And as I mentioned at the starting of the video, if you guys could please help the channel out by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications, I really would appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.